Hey guys, Steve Welch, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. I had a question I'm going to answer very, very quickly here, and it's just a whole lot easier to show you guys video than to answer it any other way. So here, without further ado, is the answer to your question. All right, I am in a Highlander. Now, any of the ones that have the 2020, uh, or sorry, the 2.0 system, like your 2020 RAV4, your Highlander, things like that, are gonna be very similar to this. So the question is, is, and I'll turn this back on me here. Question is, is that you're driving down the road and you see that coffee cup that says, take a break. And you don't want that, all right? I'm gonna show you how to shut it off, all right? And then I'm gonna go to another car and I'll show you how to shut it off on another car, all right? So here we go. If you take a look right here, I'm gonna use these buttons right here, all right? I'm gonna go down to the little gear, which is right, right there all right and you saw i went down or up from here the very first icon you see there is a um your lane departure all right so you have this okay button here press and hold the okay and you see that now i've got it to where i'm in the lane tracing center all right so it, there's lane tracing uh, uh menu so you have lane center there you can turn that on or turn that off that's whether or not you want it to help keep you in your lane um, how sensitive it is you can change your sensitivity between two different sensitivities but here is the answer to the question the sway warning if you shut that off you will no longer get the coffee cup so that's your sway warning so cut that off you won't get that or you can always change this as well to a different type of sensitivity which will let you go a little bit further over the lines where it gives you a warning things like that but uh, it comes standard on so it's standard on from the factory, but if you want to shut it off, that's the way to shut it off. Extremely easy. I'm going to switch to a different vehicle right now because I want to show you something else on a different vehicle. So I'm going to pause it here and I'm going to start recording here in just a second. You won't miss a beat. All right, guys, I'm back. Now I am in a Highlander that is a 2019 model. This is the previous body style. So you're going to notice a couple of differences here. So... Um, one of the reasons I wanted to show you this is because this actually has a little bit different of a way to reset it. All right. So I'm going to show you here is I'm just coming back to the same thing up here. Now, if you'll notice, um, this right here are where your buttons are now, right? So if you go over, you can see your lane departure. You can actually turn it off, turn it on. You can turn it off, turn it on by right here. But what you'll notice is there's no setting that's on that particular point you got to go to your settings again, like we were talking about, which now you have that same icon, you still hit your center button, and you still have steering assist on, still have your, now it doesn't have lane tracing, it's just got lane departure, so it'll bump the steering wheel, but it doesn't center your lane, so you don't have a center option, right? Got your sensitivity, and boom, sway warning. So you can shut that coffee cup off. So, and like I said, that coffee cup's just meant to you know, cross the line a few times, uh, maybe you're getting a little bit sleepy. It's meant to kind of give you that extra beep, beep and a little bit of a maybe you want to take a break. But you can change all of that. So it's uh, different sensitivities. Turn your sway warning on, sway warning off. And like I said, so depending on which car you're in, it could vary just a little bit. But the idea is the same. The sway warning is what you would be looking at if you want to turn off the coffee cup. If that annoys you, um, feel free to do it. It annoys me too. Uh, but I know why Toyota does it, and it's for the same reason that it annoys me. So, <laughs> but uh, definitely appreciate the question. Let me know if you guys want to know anything else. If I've missed anything, definitely more than happy to, to talk it over with you guys. Steve Watch will be with Toyota in Nashville. Definitely come on down. Um, I'd love to help you guys buy a car. We'll have a great time. If you're down here in the Nashville area, you want to come down, definitely reach out to me here at the store. I'm more than happy to help you to buy your next vehicle. Um, also, definitely like, subscribe. Appreciate every one of you guys. So, Steve Watch, Beaver Toyota, Nashville. You guys have a great day.